Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European market close on the Wednesday, the 24th of August 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signaler. Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of uh, the uh, numbers, the uh, European market certainly uh, closing mixed. You had the uh, FTSE down, mainly led by uh, the miners via Glencore. Uh, the uh, positive uh, effect from BWPP was certainly offset. Okay, so again, miners certainly leading us lower. Also, we had uh, weaker earnings from PetroChina and CNNOC. Okay, so again, uh, commodities certainly under the cosh. We have had weaker, obviously, uh, oil data last night and today. Okay, so both obviously indicating weakness in the price of oil, sending up, certainly exerting pressure and questioning the uh, ability of Saudi, along with the Iranians and the uh, Russians, to actually put a cap on oil, given the fact that uh, demand certainly isn't there and excess supply looms. Okay, European session, certainly stronger. Uh, mixed session there, really. I mean, we had the earthquake this morning out of Italy, and that still failed to uh, deter the uh, the actual rally uh, on the European equities, certainly moving higher with the German DAX and the CAC and the Euro stocks to a large extent. But I think that may well be offset. Uh, I think the weakness in Italy really was, of uh, Italian earthquake certainly was offset by the weaker Euro, which sent the Euro lower. Obviously, geopolitical concerns certainly weigh on the uh, currency, and that's exactly what happened, and that certainly provided a lift, which is quite strange. We had the Asian markets down overnight, but the Nikkei certainly higher, although we are still clinging on to that 100 level as we speak. So again, watch out for the 100 level. Now, US markets certainly remain weak, with Mr. Kaplan's hawkish rhetoric yesterday certainly hurting the uh, equities. And also we had a barrage of, uh, well not barrage, but basically we had housing data certainly overall net net weak, so questioning yesterday's strength, okay. Now we also have Mr. Kaplan's uh, obviously comments with regards to his hawkish rhetoric going into Jackson Hole on Fire Friday, and that's certainly weighing on equities as well, especially the FTSE 100, so watch for more further weakness on the FTSE itself, okay. Uh, in terms of economic data again, it was just the German GDP out of Europe really today, okay. Uh, although imports, exports from uh, New Zealand certainly were on the weaker side as well, so certainly watch out for the weakness in the Kiwi. Okay, now in terms of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the chart for you. I want to discuss this chart first, okay. Now the daily chart certainly seems like it wants to uh, test the 6, 7, 80 zone, okay. Uh, but the 60 minute chart tells you something else. It tells you H&S is brewing. We have this right shoulder that's certainly on the verge of being triggered. And the potential uh, H&S target is 6, 6, 7. So again, that certainly is a possibility, okay? So certainly keep, be aware of that, okay? And that certainly is a pattern that I'm looking forward to uh, playing out, okay? And obviously exerting weakness on the global markets. Now, looking at a 10-minute chart, you have the unfilled gap below at 6817. So again, watch out for that potential uh, gap to close, okay? Again, you have support at 6810. So 6817 gap fill, 6810 support. So those, those are the two zones that you're going to be watching in terms of the FTSE 100 below. In terms of uh, European markets, again, like I said, showing immense strength, even in the face of uh, the earthquake in Italy, certainly not uh, certainly not going into a risk-off mode, okay? But for now, you are into resistance on the DAX around the 10,650, okay? Currently trading around the 10,640, so looking for weakness here. And the 10-minute chart, again, has an unfilled gap below at 10,500, so again, remains vulnerable to being closed. We held the uh, double top resistance at 10,650 on the German DAX. Okay, now looking at the French CAC for you, again, French CAC did uh, trade lower going into the close, okay, although after hours we are now back up again, okay. Uh, again, really mixed, really in terms of uh, the reaction, you have the unfilled gap that needs to close below, and that certainly is proving to be a magnet, although the euro certainly has come off and certainly taking some pressure off European equities for now, okay. Again, 60-minute chart held a resistance zone, and a 10-minute chart looking for a potential either holding 4450 resistance or a lower high so again you have closed the gap at the um, level was 4450 zone okay so gap fill closed so again if i am going to short the cac it'll be around the 4450 looking for 4430 and lower on the downside okay uh, okay then so euro stocks let's just look at the euro stocks the last indices Okay, so Euro stocks, let's go to a daily chart first and foremost, okay? So daily chart of the uh, Euro stocks, 
Again, you have double top resistance uh, seen here at the 3058, 3060 zone. Okay. And again, looking for weakness further below. Potential retest is of 2900, certainly is a possibility. So be open to that. Okay. 60 minute chart, the euro stocks. Let's have a look here. Holding the previous resistance equals support on this thrust higher. Uh, although, like I said, it has left a unfilled gap behind. So again, any unfilled gap certainly needs to be watched. Uh, again, potential gap fill below. At 2960, okay, so watch out for that gap fill. 10 minute chart at the moment of the uh, Euro stocks. Uh, again, you've certainly held the uh, pre 020 zone. So again, 3020 will be key resistance, okay. You have closed the gap today as well at 3010, okay, and again, you have resistance at 3030, and then an unfilled gap is at 3045. Now, uh, you do have an unfilled gap below as well at 2960. So I was expecting this gap fill here to hold today. And then obviously the gap below certainly to close, and that certainly hasn't been the case. So impressive rally on the euro stocks today. Certainly very very impressive, led by the weaker euro, and again ignoring the uh, earthquake in Italy. Okay, so in terms of the uh, euro stocks, again looking for weakness here now down to 2980, uh, and again resistance at 3018, 3020. Bring up a chart of oil for you folks. Again, oil really is the uh, the weak. The weakling today, okay, and again indicating weakness in other equities. So again, looking at the potential 200 MA to be tagged on the downside. So watch out for that. Four-hour chart does have support here. Very unlikely to hold from my perspective, given the uh, extremely weak data. Uh, again, looking for 45, potentially 44, and that obviously will signal uh, weakness in the uh, equity markets as well. As we all know, oil equals inflation, okay, and a drop in oil equals deflation. So. Again, be cognizant of that, okay? So in terms of weakness, certainly looking for further downside, okay, folks? Right, okay. Let's bring up a chart of copper now. Let's go to the daily chart of copper. And again, you are looking at potential support, the downside. So copper is certainly really weak, very, very weak, okay? And again, indicating weakness in equities from my perspective as well. And looking for further downside momentum down to this 22 2.1 level okay it's looking for 2.1 on copper looking for weakness uh, especially in terms of the downside okay on terms of copper and looking for lower lows and lower highs okay so watch out for support below okay so certainly in a down, downward spiral now again uh, you have glencore certain weakness there okay uh, you have concern with regards to china oil Copper, again, commodities certainly being hit, emerging markets as well via South Africa, etc., etc. So certainly a lot of uh, uh, economic data indicating towards the downside, especially for the, uh, the commodity side and obviously the FTSE 100 as well, especially if the US dollar starts to push higher here, folks. So I'll bring up the chart, the US dollar. Okay, so again, we haven't closed the gap below, but the dollar index certainly looks like it wants to rip higher if it is the case that uh, Miss Yellen is going to uh, potentially uh, err on the side of hawkish. Uh, rhetoric okay so if she indicates hawkish rhetoric then you are looking at a potential rally in the dollar and a move high in the dollar obviously indicates commodities lower and therefore FTSE 100 lower as well so these are all the factors that you need to take into consideration okay folks when trading right in terms of the rest of the variables i think i've covered them all now for today's end of day session uh, again like i said it's a FTSE all eyes on the 60 minute chart, the FTSE 100 looking for dollar strength, looking for commodity weakness, and therefore looking for equities to fall, especially led by the FTSE 100. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Okay, and uh, certainly uh, visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.